UV visible spectroscopy is a method of quantitative analysis and it can be used to determine the concentration of a solution once a calibration curve has been performed. The procedure is based on the amount of light absorbed as it passes through a sample. Spectroscopy uses monochromatic light. This is selected by choosing lambda max. Lambda max is identified as the wavelength of maximum absorption for the sample under analysis and is characteristic for each compound. The use of lambda max provides the highest sensitivity and minimizes deviations from Beer-Lambert law. Ensure that the spectrophotometer is turned on and the correct wavelength has been selected. A reference cuvette that is a blank containing the same solvent as the sample is used to set the spectrophotometer to read zero absorbance. Hold the cuvette by the opaque or ridged sides and fill to one centimeter from the top with the solvent used by your sample. Hold the cuvette up to the light to see through it and wipe the transparent sides with a tissue to remove fingerprints, splashes and marks. Ensure that the cuvette has no markings or scratches and also ensure that there are no air bubbles within the solution. Place the cuvette in the spectrophotometer holder with the transparent sides in the light path. Where appropriate, align the arrows on the cuvette with the arrow as indicated on the spectrophotometer. Press the blue button which will make the instrument read zero. Prepare another cuvette with sample. Ensure that it is nice and clean and with no air bubbles and again place it correctly in the holder. This time press the green button. Read and record the absorption value. To determine the concentration now that you have an absorbance reading you need to have a calibration curve. This may be already provided for you or you might have to prepare one yourself using serial dilutions and taking numerous readings. To determine the concentration of your unknown solution, from the calibration curve, take the equation for a straight line, y equals mx plus c. Any units you need will also be found on the calibration curve. Do not forget to take into account any dilution factors if they are relevant.